what's going on you guys so check it right with it being over a week since aries dropped the surprise mixtape kill the king a lot of controversy has surrounded the artist now one particular individual who has been invested in reese's latest drop is nota and he came out with several posts suggesting that the industry or better yet the system aren't really happy that reese has been dominating the charts considering that he is independent and isn't conforming to the industry standards so he came out to say the following i don't think aries's mixtape will last at number one until the end of the week the system can't allow that the streaming game is rigged worse than radio aries declared war on the system i wish you were smarter about it i did the same thing and it cost me everything but my integrity i don't think he knows who he's up against if they don't force him to sign his life away they'll make sure he ends up down and out they patient by tomorrow aries will be at number two and it'll be clear who the system approves they promised larry jackson they've got something bigger than nash dc they'll do whatever it takes to prove it the fan base can't win this contest the playlist is a stream farm nice try but hard luck now nota touched on quite a few interesting things here firstly that aries is fighting the system by doing things independently which the higher ups don't take too kindly to and because of that he predicted that reese wouldn't hold the number one spot for the week on the dsps which he was completely wrong about i mean on apple music his mixtape held the number one spot across all genres for the whole week and on spotify he attained the number one spot for the sa spotify weekly charts now Noto also mentioned that because Reese has essentially declared war against the system, they would either force him into a position of signing or making sure that he's down and out. And there might be some validity to that. I mean Reese came out to announce that some of his streams on Spotify had disappeared. So on X he said, Today 164,289 of my all time streams magically disappeared. Regardless though we've made history and I figured I should announce it myself. Kill the King the mixtape hits 3 million plus streams in its first week. Now for an independent artist achieving 3 million plus streams globally is monumental, especially because the mixtape dropped out of nowhere, but as Reese said 164,000 streams had disappeared, which is quite suspicious and maybe that does give validity to the system trying to sabotage the boy. And I mean he also came out to say, when I make history they want it erased. Now a user did point out that it's possible that Spotify didn't update their life tracking when it comes to his streams for this week. So the 164,000 streams that are missing will show up for the new tracking period for this coming week. Now lastly, not to mention that the system promised Larry Jackson something bigger than SDC, which is a wild statement. I mean, I'm convinced that Nota just sits in a dark room wearing his tinfoil hat coming up with all these conspiracy theories. But I mean, he has been part of the music industry for quite some time. So maybe there is some truth to what he's saying. I mean, Larry Jackson is the CEO and founder of Gamma, which is a modern media and technology enterprise created to revolutionize the way artists create, distribute, and monetize their contents and brands across a multitude of consumer touch points. Across seven global offices, Gamma serves 10,000 monthly releases through their wholly owned technology and rights management platform. Now, one particular artist who is signed to Gamma is Usimai Mane, and he dropped his debut album the same day Reese dropped his mixtape. So, if we're going by what Nota said, the system as well as Gamma can't be too thrilled that an independent artist took away some of the spotlights away from their artist, who is supposed to be the next big thing in South A. But either way, Usman Mane charted at the number two spot throughout the whole week behind Reese and his song Uvalo, which features Java, charted at the number one spot, which is a win in my books. Now, with all that said, it's really crazy seeing how Reese has managed to make his mark in the music industry, despite not following their rules. I mean, pursuing a music career independently is no easy task, and we as supporters can only imagine the hurdles he's had to get through. But he gives some inspirational words for the next artist wanting to do this music thing on their own terms. I mean, he said, to my South African independent artists out there, don't let the commercial scene of the music industry or major labels marginalize you and your art. You can do it on your own terms if you believe in yourself. Study the business and create your own loyal fan base by staying consistent. It's no secret. I'm honored to be paving the way for the future in the artists this country has and is yet to produce. Long live SA Hip Hop. So you guys let me know your thoughts on this. Do you think Nota is right about the industry trying to blackball Aries and are you still enjoying Kill the King?
comment down below anyways guys thanks for tuning in and i hope you enjoyed please make sure to hit that like button if you found the content dope and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already it's on to the next one peace